The question now is, are we able to top that fight as promoter Matt Trekovich and some of the RFO staff cleans the cage? We're going to send it up to Jake Digman to bring out our next combatants. The following contest is in the RFO light heavyweight division, and it is brought to you by Linder Sports Bar and Grill. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle into the blue corner, please welcome Brandon Cat Smasher Orsbone. Uh, Brad Orsbone with a record of seven and four. Down at light heavyweight, he has competed at a few different weight classes, and he competes all over. He's also an extremely busy fighter. This will be his fourth in 2017. And uh, John, I'm gonna ask you, his nickname's the Cat Smasher. How about a little MMA trivia? Who started their career with the nickname of Cat Smasher? Well, I cannot answer that. I am not that big of a nerd, but I, what I will say is my favorite nickname of all time is Isaiah, I thought this was a dance contest, Combs. That is a the best nickname. I thought this was a dance contest. And another one nickname that I loved was Give Me Your Lunch Money. Chris the, Lieben is the answer to the trivia question, the Cat Smasher. <laughs> but those are both right up there with the Cat Smasher. Brad Orsbone, Ronan MMA. And, you know, he's is seven and four with a win. I believe Brad Orsbone says it's time to go pro. And John, he's uh, three out of the last four he's won. And he's, he's got victories in a, in a variety of ways. Yeah, I mean, he, he's won by sub, submission. He's won by decision. Um, I'm just looking through his record. Submission, he's lost by TKO. So this guy, will, he's willing to take the fight anywhere it goes. And his opponent making his way down the aisle into the right corner. Please welcome Josh Malibu Barbie. Josh Barbie, a veteran of 17 amateur fights. And John, I've called fights of Josh Barbie four or five times. And I saw him before the show, I said, Josh, has anything changed? And he said, no. I'll tell you exactly what that means. An independent fighter, he doesn't train, he doesn't spar, he gets in and scraps. And his mantra is let's see where it goes and let's see what happens. You would think that would be a recipe for disaster. But of those 17 fights, Barbie is eight and nine and he's coming in on a two-fight win streak. He is, and you know, what, the advice I'd give him, I'd say, you know what, I'm very proud of you, congratulations. I, I, I appreciate that what you're doing is what you're doing, and you say, hey, I'm just coming in to scrap, but get into a gym like Strong Style or Griffin Roll or Evolve MMA, you know, one of those, you know, top Northeast Ohio gyms, and say, you know what, I need some more formal training. You know, it's one thing that you're gonna just get in there and scrap, but you really need the training. Jake Digman, official introductions. The following contest is in the RFO light heavyweight division, and it is brought to you by Linder Sports Bar and Grill. Introducing first in the blue corner, he fights out of Grove City, Ohio. He weighed in at 205 pounds, representing Ronin Training Center with an MMA record. Nine wins, four losses, and one no contest. Please welcome Brad Cat Smasher Orsbone. His opponent in the red corner, he fights out of Canton, Ohio. He weighed in at 186 pounds. He is an independent fighter with an MMA record. Eight wins, nine losses. Please welcome Josh Malibu Barbie. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And when the action begins, your referee is Jerry Poe. John, Josh Barbie is either extremely naturally gifted at jujitsu, or he's pulling the wool over my eyes every time I see him because of his eight wins, 
six are by submission. And a lot of them are by guillotine choke or triangle choke. So he is very good on the ground. Um, the only thing I don't like about him right now is he's up against a cage right near us. He's got a Cincinnati Bengals tattoo, which as a Browns fan, ugh, that doesn't sit well. Brad Orsborne with a power takedown, and he's all over him. Orsborne is an extremely powerful guy. He's trying to get on the chin. John, can he finish? It, it, right now, good, sc good scrap. You, you mentioned it when they walked out. He's a scrapper. You know, no formal training. He does, he's not with a, a gym, independent. He's scrappy, and right now he is being scrappy. John Orsborne looks like the much bigger fighter. Yeah, these guys don't even look like they're in the same weight class. And right now he's big brothering Josh Malibu Barbie. And there's a tap. Josh Barbie tapped, and Orsborne looks Extremely concerned, checking him out, good sportsmanship. Yeah, I, right, I mean, he... And I'll tell you what, when we get a look at the replay, Brad Orsborn, Orsborn knew yeah. that Barbie was tapping before Jerry Poe. And Jerry Poe, the official, just told us, Josh Barbie tapped the strikes. And when we see the replay, you're going to see a big shot, and then you'll see Barbie, I'm sorry, Orsborn back up and say, look, yeah, he's done. He, he, and he, knew, he knew he caught him. You know, the, the rule is you stop when the ref stops you, and Brad Orsbone knew what had happened, and he pulled off, and that is, uh, I can't say enough about it. Yeah, that's... Watch this, watch this strike that finishes it, John. You know, it, it, it's sometimes you see this in the NFL where a guy makes a big hit, and before... Boom! Any, Watch this. Oh. Boom! Now watch the hand of Barbie tap. Yeah, See? He, he knew he got him. And Orsbone pulled off. Like I, like I was starting to say, sometimes you see it in the NFL, you see a guy get a big hit, and even before the trainers start coming out, the defensive player says, get out here, get out here, get out here. Something's wrong. Because yep. they, they know. They can hear like the the wind go out of them or whatever. Let, let's get I, it up to Jake Digman for the uh, official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jerry Poe calls a stop to the action at one minute and one second of the first round. Declaring your winner by tap out due to strikes, Brad Cat Smasher Orsbone.